So good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's a great day. I want to thank you, all of us, all of you, for joining us today as we take an important step forward in launching the Cook County Promise Guaranteed Income Pilot, currently the largest guaranteed income pilot in the country. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge the elected officials and distinguished guests who have joined us today as speakers. Commissioner Deborah Sims, who will be joining us shortly. Soshi Flores, Flores, who's our Bureau Chief in, in Economic Development. Joseph Lopez, who's Executive Director of the Spanish Coalition for Housing. Emilio Carasquillo, close. <laughs> Program Director of SCH, who will be providing remarks in Spanish. Sarah Moran, U.S. Country Director at Give Directly. Mazuzu Schneider, close? OK. Close. Uh, Program Director at the University of Chicago Inclusive Economy Lab. I want to thank all of you for joining us and for your partnership in this historic initiative. I want to acknowledge the county commissioners who are with us as well. Commissioner Degnan, Commissioner Lowry, Commissioner Miller. Thank you. We, pardon me? And me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced like the country, <laughs> And to Commissioner Britton, special apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see you. You're right behind me. And Anaya is there too? Where? Coming on up. Oh, Commissioner Anaya is coming up. Okay, well, the more the merrier. Come on, Commissioner Anaya, come and join us. Commissioner Moore. And Commissioner Moore. All right, good. Come on up, Commissioner Moore. So I'm grateful to all of you. Finally, we need to acknowledge the Bureau of Economic Development team and give a special thanks to Pete Saboviak, our Director of Guaranteed Income and Economic Mobility. Pete, you've shown exceptional leadership in spearheading the county's Guaranteed Income Program. Your commitment will transform lives in Cook County and beyond. I also need to acknowledge Mara Hennigan, formerly one of our staff people, and Nish Didikavi, who's away on vacation, for their good work on this initiative as well. And I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge my brother, Jan, who has been beating me up on this subject for years. Why isn't the county doing something about guaranteed income? So thank you, Jan. <clears throat> Beginning on October 6th and through October 21st, eligible Cook County residents will be able to apply to participate in this $42 million pilot and be considered to become one of the 3,250 participants who will receive $500 cash payments for the next two years. Details around eligibility and the application pro process will be shared by BED Bureau Chief Soshi Flores in just a, a few minutes. We also invite everyone to go to www.engagecookcounty.com forward slash promise to learn more and sign up for updates. We're also honored to stand here today with our community partners and to formally recognize the administrative and outreach partnerships we've forged to get the word out to hard to reach communities and cash into the hands of people who need it most. Thanks to Give Directly, Aid Kit, the University of Chicago, the Spanish Coalition for Housing, and all of our outreach partners. This announcement is particularly appropriate given that this is our fourth annual Racial Equity Week. Every year, we dedicate a week to discussions and events around racial and social equity with the goal of fostering a more equitable and just county for all of us. A guaranteed income is a critical part of our mission to infuse equity into county government because we know that income inequality has been drawn by racial lines in this country. Across the board, in terms of household wealth, home ownership, access to credit, the list goes on, black and brown people are often born with less financially, with less financially and disproportionately locked out of opportunities to build more. All too often, this has been a direct consequence of policies and actions of government throughout our history. From genocide to slavery to internment camps to redlining, our native, black, brown, and immigrant communities have time and time again endured government-sponsored oppression. 
These injustices have had a great economic impact on the generations that have followed. As government leaders, I believe we have a responsibility to acknowledge our institution's history of discrimination and then move to right the wrongs of biased policies that have harmed Americans, sown seeds of disunity, and undermined the great potential of our country. It's incumbent upon us, those of us in power today, to rectify those historical harms and deliver real solutions for present and future generations. That recognition and that obligation is at the heart of the promise pilot we're proud to be moving forward today. And yet, while we know that class, income, and wealth must be viewed through a racial equity lens, let me be clear. This pilot is for every community in Cook County. An estimated one-third, actually 36 percent, of Cook County residents are eligible for this pilot. The undocumented immigrant trying to make his home and life in our country, the North Suburban daycare provider and mother of four, the construction worker trying to make ends meet for his family on the south side, the gig worker driving for a car share app in order to pay for college. On October 6, all of these people will have a chance to apply for our program. With a $42 million investment, this is the largest publicly funded guaranteed income initiative in the country and will provide thousands of our residents with a stable economic foundation, many for the first time in their lives. The name of this pilot has been chosen perfect, purposely. The word promise reflects our acknowledgement of broken promises, our intention to right those wrongs today and into the future. We also know that this program will allow residents to reach their promise, their potential, not only to survive but to thrive. Finally, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again, the program I'm talking about is a pilot, but we're not interested in temporary solutions to centuries-old problems. Our promise to Cook County residents is to make this program permanent. We believe that decades of research justify it and that the results of our program will demand it, just as they have other guaranteed income programs across the country. As our partners will tell you, with a stable financial foundation, participants in guaranteed income programs are freed to take care of their families, pursue education, find better employment. With more stability, people have the autonomy to set personal goals, take risks, and even start businesses. And across the board, a guaranteed income leads to better outcomes for the participants themselves and others in their household. To put it simply, it makes people's lives better. Cook County is proud to be leading the way for governments in the guaranteed income movement, and we're humbled by the dedicated work of activists and organizers that it's taken to get here. I would remind you again that Martin Luther King talked 50 years ago about the importance either of guaranteed jobs or guaranteed income in this country. With this historic investment, we aim to show the nation what a guaranteed income program can achieve at scale. As we move forward, we'll do so thoughtfully, and we will carefully study the impacts of this pilot with our partners at the University of Chicago, Crown Family School of Social Work, Policy, and Practice, and the Inclusive Economy Lab. But we're confident that by directly investing in our residents, by giving people what they need most, money, we will have a meaningful impact on our communities and create lasting change here in Cook County. And now I'd like to ask our Bureau Chief for Economic Development, Soshi Flores, to say a few words. Where are you, Soshi? There we go. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Soshi Flores, Bureau Chief of the Cook County Bureau of Economic Development. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a, truly a very exciting day. The mission of the Bureau of Economic Development is to lead and promote equitable economic development and community development within our communities, particularly in areas that have suffered the most disinvestment, that have struggled to attract businesses, that have struggled to keep workforce opportunities available. 
As part of that mission, it is critical that residents of Cook County have a level of economic stability on which to stand. So I'm very excited to be here today after months of work with our dedicated, dedicated partners as we launch the Cook County Promise, our guaranteed income pilot. I want to start off by recognizing the many people that have committed tons of hours to getting us to this point. I want to personally thank President Preckwinkle for her leadership, for her vision, and for her, com for her commitment to our communities and our residents. I want to thank many of our elected officials that are here today for their support and for their continued confidence in the work that we are doing and for their partnership in ensuring that our communities and residents find out about this important initiative. Additionally, I want to thank our Chief of Staff, Lynetta Haynes-Turner, for all her work and support and for helping us get the resources that we need in order to get to this point. Um, in particular, I also want to thank my team at the Bureau of Economic Development. I know that President Preckwinkle highlighted um, Pete Sokoviak, our director of this program that has been really working tirelessly with our deputy, Dominic Tosi, who have been nonstop really working with our partners to dissect and really think about not just how we're going to get this program out the door, but more importantly, how are we going to do it seamlessly and in an equitable way? So I'm very excited and very um, fortunate to have such great team members that are so dedicated to this work. Um, this has been a remarkable effort on many fronts and a case study on the importance of really working with experienced organizations whenever you're tackling any ambitious and innovative project like this Promise Pilot. In this regard, our partners have been nothing short of exceptional, and I want to thank each of them for their partnership over the last couple of months in the design of this program. As the President mentioned, on to many of the details, she noted that this is a $42 million pilot and is supported by the American Rescue Plan Act funding and will provide $500 monthly payments to 3,250 Cook County households over the course of two years. Eligibility is simple. Applicants must be, 18 years, must be at least 18 years of age, a resident of Cook County with a household income at or below 250% of the federal poverty level, and also not participating in any other guaranteed income pilots such as the Chicago Resilient Communities Pilot or the Evanston's Guaranteed Income Pilot. As the President noted, approximately 36% of Cook County households are eligible to apply. So we encourage residents to visit www.engagecookcounty.com forward slash promise and sign up for our email where you will get additional information on all the eligibility criteria. Applications will open on October 6th and close on October 21st and will be accessible from our website at that time. We did ensure that the application will be accessible via a smartphone, tablet, or a computer. But as part of this process, um, I just want to ensure that part of the eligibility and the documents that will be required are proof of identity, residence, and income. Um, information and more details about this documentation and verification process will be available on our website. We have worked very closely with Give Directly and local community advocates to ensure that our application is as streamlined as easy, and as easy as possible, user-friendly and easy to complete. However, we do know that individuals will need some in-person assistance, so we have many partners that will be on the ground ready to assist individuals. We have six outreach and in-person application assistance partners, one of which you will hear from shortly, to ensure that people know about our program and also know how to apply. These six partners, as well as many other community-based organizations, will host in-person application assistance events in October and will provide a calendar of events on our website. Once again, I want to thank the team at the Bureau of Economic Development, all of our partners, um, all of our assistance partners and outreach partners, 
and very excited about the work that we are undertaking together. Um, shortly, you will hear about one of our outreach partners and learn more details about how this program and the outreach of the program will be administered. So thank you very much. We'll be here to answer questions at the end. Thank you. Thank you, you Soshi. Next, we'll hear from Cook County Commissioner Deborah Sims, Vice Chair of Finance and President Pro Tem. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. You know, they usually give us the script that we're going to do, but I don't stick the scripts down too very well, so you're going to hear it from me. On behalf of uh, the county board commissioners, and, and all of them are behind us, I don't know whether uh, Met President uh, Pretwinkle announced them all, but on behalf of us, we're very, very proud of this program. Guaranteed uh, income for people who need it. I mean, we look at this as not as a handout, but a leg up. And I think that's what most people need today. I'd like to thank uh, President Pretwinkle and her staff, Lynetta Haynes and Soshi and everybody else who took part in trying to make sure that this happened. This isn't only happening with Cook County, it's happening with the city of Chicago. This is like better than the lottery. You know, in the lottery, they say you have to pay to play. You don't have to pay in order to get this. All you have to do is sign up. So I think this is a win-win for all of the residents of Cook County. A guaranteed income. I mean, who has ever heard of that uh, before? It was whoever thought this up, this was a great idea. As we talk about the geek driver, the construction worker, this is everyone. And all you have to do is, like I said, sign up. It's a medium income requirement that you have to uh, meet, and it's great. I mean, for the, for the city of Chicago and Cook County to be a participant in this, this is one of the best things I think that has ever happened for us. And it has nothing to do with your, wet, your race, your creed, where you came from, everyone. All you have to do is sign up. So this should be something that we all should be getting out. It, it should be, everybody should be telling everybody about this program. President Pretwinkle, to you and your staff, this was great. And in this time, we're in a time where we're, uh, we're, we're helping with a war in Ukraine. We're helping with the disrest in our county and in our city. When people say we're not doing enough, when you look at all these people behind us, we're trying to do enough. So I think even though it's just a drop in the bucket, I think every drop helps. So on behalf of my colleagues, all of them that are, are standing beside me here, we're all happy and pleased as punch to be a part of this program. And all we need is for everyone to, is to get the word out and for everybody to apply. So if I'm off script, Nick, I'm sorry. I do, be <laughs> I do better off script. So uh, people, we just need you to, to apply. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to acknowledge Commissioner Aguilar and Commissioner Brandon Johnson who have joined us. Uh, our next speaker is Joseph Lopez, who is Executive Director of the Spanish Coalition for Housing. Good, mor good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Madam President, and thank you, Cook County Commissioners, for your leadership in this historic moment. My name is Joseph Lopez, Executive Director with Spanish Coalition for Housing, also known as SCH. SCH is one of the leading HUD-certified housing counseling nonprofit organizations in Cook County, supporting the affordable and sustainable housing needs of residents across the region since 1972. Annually, we serve more than 10,000 households each year to meet their affordable housing and financial capability needs. Today, I'm speaking on behalf of Cook County Promises Community Outreach Partners. As we get ready to launch the Guaranteed Income Pilot Program, we're excited to partner with Cook County to support the launch of the, pi the Promise Pilot. The county has partnered with Spanish Coalition for Housing, Housing Forward, Indo-American Center, Next Move, Northwest Compass, and Respond Now to facilitate outreach activities and ensure we get the word out about the process, eligibility, and application window for the Guaranteed Income Pilot Program, along with hosting application assistance events. 
These organizations are leaders in their field. They know the communities well. They have a successful track record in, their, in serving low-income communities, immigrant and BIPOC populations, who are historically under-resourced. Outreach will allow us to meet people where they are at in and across communities. Through this program, we hope to improve recipients' lives and we feel many people in communities we serve across the county stand to benefit from this program. There will be application assistance calendar available at Cook County's website at engagecookcounty.com backslash promise to find dates, times, locations, and contact information for application assistance opportunities throughout Cook County. We will also be ensuring that dozens of other organizations around the county will have materials to get the word out and reach as many communities as possible. If you are thinking about applying, we encourage you to sign up for the list host at engagecookcounty.com backslash promise to get the latest updates. And now I'd like to introduce my program manager, Emilio Carasqueo, who will be providing some remarks in Spanish as well. Thank you. Buenos días, mi nombre es Emilio Carrasquillo, gerente de programas de Spanish College for Housing, conocida como SSH por sus siglas en inglés. SSH es una de las principales organizaciones sin fines de lucro de asesoramiento de vivienda, certificado por HUD en el condado de Cook, que apoya las necesidades de vivienda asequible y sostenible de los residentes de toda la región desde 1972. Anualmente servimos a más de 10,000 personas cada año para satisfacer sus necesidades de vivienda asequible y capacidad financiera. Estoy aquí representando a todos los miembros comunitarios del programa Cook County Promise mientras nos preparamos para lanzar el programa piloto de ingresos garantizados. Estamos entusiasmados por asociarnos con el condado de Cook para apoyar el lanzamiento del Promise Pilot. El condado, junto con Spanish Coalition for Housing, Housing Forward, Indo-American Center, Next Move, Northwest Compass y Respond Now. Estamos listos para facilitar las actividades de divulgación y garantizar que corremos la voz sobre el proceso, la elegibilidad y el periodo de solicitud para el programa de GIP. Estas organizaciones son líderes en su campo, conocen bien nuestras comunidades y tienen un historial exitoso de trabajando en las comunidades con poblaciones de bajos ingresos, inmigrantes y personas de color que históricamente carecen de recursos. A través de este programa, esperamos mejorar la vida de los beneficiarios y creemos que muchas personas en las comunidades de las que servimos en todo el condado se beneficiarán sobre este programa. Habrá un calendario de asistencia con la solicitud engagementcookcounty.com slash forward promise, donde encontrarás fechas, horas, ubicaciones e información de contacto para las oportunidades de asistencia con la solicitud en todo el condado de Cook. También nos aseguremos de que las docenas de, de organizaciones en todo el condado que tengan materiales para correr la voz y llegar a tantas comunidades como sea posible. Si está pensando en presentar una solicitud, le invitamos a que se registre en la lista de espera de engagementcookcounty.com forward slash promise, para obtener las últimas actualizaciones. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Emilio. Sarah Moran is U.S. County Director for Give Directly. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much, President Preckwinkle and commissioners for having us today. I am really excited to be here. Um, my name is Sarah Moran, and I am the U.S. Country Director at Give Directly. Give Directly is the world's largest and longest-running organization that delivers unconditional cash to people living in poverty. Um, and I oversee our U.S. operations. Um, over the last decade, Give Directly has delivered $550 million to over a million people around the world in 11 countries who are living at or below uh, the equivalent of the federal poverty line in other places. Um, we are really proud to be running three of the country's largest guaranteed income programs, um, including the Cook County Promise Pilot, um, as well as the world's longest basic income study in Kenya. 
Um, as payment administrator, what's our job? Our job is to support the end-to-end -end application, verification, enrollment, and payment, for, you know, ultimately, of the 3,250 people that will participate in the pilot. Um, we're responsible to ensure that all applicants, all eligible Cook County residents, can easily apply, working closely with our outreach partners to ensure that we've got in-person assistance for folks who are unable to apply via their phone or online. Um, we will also be working with our partners at the Inclusive Economy Lab to randomly select 3,250 people that we have verified and deemed eligible to participate in the pilot. And finally, uh, once people are selected, we will be responsible for ensuring that they are getting paid on time every month for two years. Um, and during that period, we'll also be conducting um, audits and safeguarding exercises to make sure that everyone in the pilot is having a really positive experience. Um, to do all of this, we're working with a company called AidKit. AidKit is a fit-for-purpose cash distribution platform that has built an incredibly accessible and easy-to-use application and payment strategy um, that allows people to actually choose the payment uh, method that will work best for them. So why are we here today? Um, GiveDirectly was founded on the premise that unconditional cash is the most direct way to support people experiencing poverty, um, one that respects the agency and choice of every individual and every family. We know that guaranteed income can be particularly impactful, not just because it provides immediate relief, which it does, but because it allows people to plan and think ahead, to think about more than just the next bill, the next month's rent, but to actually look, in this case, two years in the future. We're really excited that, the Cook, that Cook County has committed to exploring guaranteed income as a permanent fixture in their public policy, because our decade plus experience shows that when people have the freedom and choice to make their own decisions, they do so in a way that most benefits themselves and their families. Um, so with all of that in mind, I know we've had a couple of people speak about uh, the specifics of the program, uh, but I do want to reiterate, applications open on October 6th. They will close on October 21st. You do not need to apply early to be considered. You can apply any time in that window, and as um, our partners at the Spanish Coalition for Housing indicated, there will be a calendar online at engagedcookcounty.com slash promise that will provide information about where you can get assistance. Um, so with that in mind, I will pass it over to my colleague, Ms. Suzu Schechsneider at the Inclusive Economy Lab at the University of Chicago. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, um, and President Preckwinkle for the opportunity to be here today and share more about our role in this historic effort. As mentioned, my name is Ms. Suzu Schechsneider, and I serve as a program director at the Inclusive Economy Lab, leading our quality jobs and financial security work. Our enthusiasm for working on the Cook County Promise Guaranteed Income Pilot is deeply tied to our mission and how we work. At the Inclusive Economy Lab, we partner with policymakers, community-based organizations, and others to generate rigorous evidence that leads to greater economic opportunity for communities harmed by disinvestment and segregation. Through our work with the Cook County government, we will conduct a rigorous examination of the Promise Pilot over the next several years. In collaboration with our partners at the Crown Family School of Social Work, Policy, and Practice, we will conduct a mixed methods evaluation to investigate the impact of these unconditional payments on a variety of economic stability, financial mobility, and physical and mental health outcomes. The evaluation will include a randomized control trial, analysis of administrative and survey data, and periodic qualitative interviews, including those conducted by participants themselves. We will also conduct a process evaluation to inform the county's future efforts to administer a permanent program and an economic impact analysis to understand the pilot's impact on local communities. Our brilliant team of researchers, analysts, project managers, they are already hard at work on the study design and research activities in preparation for the application opening, and we are very grateful for their service. The Inclusive Economy Lab and Crowns Family School are honored to work in partnership with the Cook County government, Give Directly, AKIT, all the organizations represented here today to conduct this robust evaluation. 
We look forward to generating evidence that will inform future iterations of guaranteed income programs, both here in Cook County and beyond. Thank you. All right, I'd like to thank David Jones for being our uh, sign language interpreter today. Um, <laughs> all right, Nick. Well, as we said, the eligible population is one third of the county, 36 percent. I don't think that the county envisions having a program that would uh, be able to cover all the people who are eligible. What we hope to do is prove the concept or help prove the concept. In my view, the concept is already proven, but anyway, we'll, we'll add to the literature on this. Um, the federal government's going to have to do this. Um, and at the city and the county level, those of us who are doing these programs hope to build the case that this is what the federal government ought to do. Good morning. Pete, where are you? Come on. Hi. Uh, Pete Subkoviak, uh, Director of Guaranteed Income. Uh, the short answer is that we thought that it was important to have a two-year timeline. Um, you know, two years for folks getting recurring payments um, is a longer um, runway, if you will, uh, to allow them to stabilize and think about the future and start to implement those changes. And so we thought it was um, a, a, a better for, for us um, and especially to also maybe see um, stronger impacts if we have a longer timeline. So we'll be able to learn more, and we hope that with that longer runway, families will be able to make more and, and more impactful changes uh, with this program. Um, you know, I think that uh, $500 is, if you look at the, um, the, the folks who are 0 to 250, $500 is, is a significant um, increase to their, their monthly income. Um, but it's not a, you know, this is a program, $500 a month, where it's, it, it's, it's not something that you necessarily, most folks would be able to, to live off of. So it's, it's, it's boosting up, but it's not, it's not um, you know, it's, it's enough to really make changes in the long term. To help. Thank you. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll ask Mijuju. Masuzu. Masuza. Yes. <laughs> Masuza to come and speak to that. But, uh, you know, I, we're hoping that there'll be impacts at the family level, at the community level. Um, and in terms of, as I said, making the case for this as a national policy. And actually, you know, we, we did this during the pandemic. We, we gave families uh, monthly uh, checks, right? Um, and unfortunately, we couldn't get the support of Congress to continue the program uh, beyond the first um, round. And I, you know, it, it really had an impact on childhood poverty in this country. And um, I regret that the federal government didn't, our Congress didn't, uh, choose to continue to provide that support to our families. But where you want to come up? Um, thank you for that question. It's a great question. So the, are the four outcomes are economic mobility, financial stability, physical health, and mental health. And we'll be measuring those outcomes through administrative data, so things that already exist through public agencies um, or you know, credit records and things like that. Um, also surveys, quarterly surveys that will be going out to both folks um, receiving the cash and those not receiving the cash, and then also qualitative interviews that um, um, our team will be conducting and also people who are um, participating in those interviews themselves will be, will be conducting in their communities. So. Well, you, 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 you sure. 
what would constitute success if you are measuring that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that question, too. So, um, because um, there's likely going to be many more people who apply for this program than there are eligible you know, slots, 33,250 33, um, participants, we're going to leverage the fact that there will be a lottery to select those 3,250 participants. And then when we measure those outcomes, we'll be looking at whether folks who didn't receive the cash but look very similar to people who did receive the cash have different outcomes on across all four of those um, um, outcome categories. That's right. That's correct. Uh, well, we're working with our community partners to um, encourage people to participate. I can't predict what the response rate is going to be, but I'm grateful to the organizations that we've worked with um, through the pandemic and on this particular uh, initiative for their outreach activities on behalf of the county and the resources that we can help provide.